All right, I'm Ryan Hansen, and uh, hello, uh, greetings from the Digital Learning Department. On behalf of our department, we want to welcome you to the experience that we're going to have on September 17th. So, uh, we want to start with the objectives for the day. The objectives for the day, first of all, we want everyone to have a positive experience with Canvas. So, all teachers that participate in our activities, um, they're going to come into Canvas like a, like a student would, and have an experience as a student would and see Canvas from that perspective if you haven't used it before. Secondly, um, we want everybody to uh, develop some digital skills for personalization. Um, let's be real clear uh, about that. So personalization is here. If you'll follow me with the camera. Uh, the definite Definition of personalization that we're looking for is uh, personalization is the action of designing and producing something to meet someone's individual requirements. We don't want personalization to turn into um, a formalized uh, instructional theory. We want to meet the personalized needs of each of our students. That's the goal. Uh, so this isn't about devices. It's not about um, a formal theory. It's just about good teachers understanding their students usually using digital tools to meet their needs and that's the focus of, of that's where we're, we want to spend the 17th uh, giving you the opportunity to explore some of these things and that would be our third objective is that you have time to uh, there's some course content but also time to plan and explore and experiment experiment with digital devices to help your kids and that's what it's all about helping your kids all right all right uh, we just wanted to show you real quickly how you're gonna register for your canvas courses so we are gonna push out to principals and administrators a form that will or it'll be an email and it'll kind of look like this however there'll be a course name or a course number associated with each of the courses uh, administrators all you need to do is delete the ones you don't want to offer to your faculty and then cut and paste that whatever you want them to what whatever courses you want them to take you're going to cut and paste it send an email out to them prior to the 17th so we're going to send you this uh, today which is Monday the 10th and you can send this out today uh, to them preferably by Wednesday so they can go in they, all they have to do is click the link that's in, the, in the, uh, the description and it will take them right to the Canvas course. If they're already logged into, um, well they would be because to get the email they would be logged into Microsoft 365. So they click on the link, they'll go right into Canvas and right into the course. They can start on the course even before Monday if they'd like. If they'd like to spend the weekend doing that, whatever. Uh, but they will have time on Monday to do those courses and we're going to send you those links and the links to your SDSs so you guys can play around with it and also get it out to teachers and go ahead and start. Um, <clears throat> course setup. This is how we set up each of the Canvas courses. So here is a course. Um, so when you go in to take the course, the course is going to be broken into modules and there's probably going to be four or five of those. At the end of the module, there'll likely be a quiz, and then you, uh, so a teacher can skip to the quiz if they feel like they know the content, uh, pass the quiz, move on, but they have to do all the quizzes before they get to a form, and that's a Microsoft form, it's not a paper, uh, but they'll click on the form, but the form won't open up until the modules are complete, and again, you don't have to complete all the content, you just have to complete the assessments. So they can go as fast as they want through that. They get to the form. Really, it's going to ask them their name, what school they're from. That's going to allow us to create a spreadsheet so we can go back to you and tell you which of your teachers completed which Canvas courses and you have a record uh, that they got through that content. And that's how you're going to know what they did on Monday or leading up to Monday. Um, but preferably on Monday, you'll know what they did We'll send you back that information, <clears throat> but the, land, the, the last thing that they're going to need to do to complete the courses, this is where we're going to need some of your help, uh, is we're going to have them drop some evidence in. So at the end of the course, 
Um, they're going to drop in a file, could be a video, could be a PDF, could be uh, a document, but it's evidence that they took the information in the course and they were able to use it in their classroom in some way. So they drop that bit of evidence in. Uh, we'll also have them do maybe a free write so they understand the, the text feature of Canvas. So those two things, you and your SDS are going to have rights to go back in and once we tell you which teachers took which classes, you'll go back in, it should be really simple. Uh, you go back in and look to make sure they did it. Um, <clears throat> work with your SDS on that. We want you to have that dialogue about what your teachers did and, and uh, uh, talk about what you've seen as you've gone back in, but we still want to make it easy. Go back in and look. You'll be able to fill out a certification for relicensure re points. You'll provide that to the teacher, and that's what we want to get out of the 17th. Um, so that's how the assessment for the modules will take place. What we don't want you to do right now is to worry about any of that. So that'll all take care of itself later. Let's just get our teachers into Canvas, complete the module up to the forms. They'll know what they need to do to drop the evidence in, help them do that, and then we'll talk about what comes next. So one of the main things in, in this whole experience is we don't want to create that anxiety of there's a deadline, uh, that anybody has to do anything extra special. Just relax, um, explore the content, explore how the content fits into your classes, and that's the step we want to take right now. We'll get to this other stuff later, but Okay, that should be it. Uh, last thing, if you have any questions at all, if you're feeling stressed about any of this, uh, pick up the phone and call us. You can call me. Uh, my number and my cell number are in your email. You can call Kathy Larson. You can call Rochelle Herbst. Hi, Rochelle. Hello. She's doing the video. Uh, call us and uh, we'll walk you through it. Um, but last of all, there is a, a brief explanatory video coming out from the superintendency. So you should receive that this week. Uh, feel free to pass that on an appropriate, at an appropriate time to your faculty. Uh, but again, there's no reason why you couldn't get in these courses and start to uh, work through some things. There no, there's no reason why you can't send those links out ahead of time. Uh, there are a couple of courses that aren't complete yet and we'll have you those links by uh, the end of this week as soon as they're available but most of them are ready and uh, rather than have any confusion on Monday uh, feel free to go in and try some of this out and start to work through this material again we would encourage teachers to uh, work in a small group work individually um, however they can get through that content the fastest and uh, most effectively do it but if it were me I'd like to be with either somebody in my department, uh, some friends that I had in the school, and I could work through those things. They could help me on some of the things I didn't know. Dropping in evidence might be a little bit of a challenge uh, for some that haven't done it anymore, done it before, uh, but they could help me do those things quickly and, and know some things that I might not know. So uh, it's gonna be a great experience. Um, do it, and uh, again, let us know if you have any questions, and we're excited. Woohoo!